All right, hello everybody. It's Logan again, back from three-day vacation because of Labor Day. By the way, happy Labor Day to everybody. Um, hope you had enjoyed your Labor Day. But like I said, I was off for three days. But now today I am back, and instead of me doing all sports today, I will be focusing mainly on football, both college and uh, national football league-wise. So. Um, yeah, so this this episode of sport of sports talk with Logan Patton will be different considering it will be about all about football this episode. So anyway, this is Sports Talk with Logan Patton, um, my daily sports blog that I put on YouTube and and this is step one in my journey of becoming a professional sports broadcaster when I grow up. I guess you would say. Anyway, let's get down to the world of football. Now today, in college football news, Reggie Bush will be stripped of his Heisman Trophy. And Bush will be the first person in the 75-year um, history of the award to be penalized in the way of it being taken away. After Bush gets stripped of the trophy, the Heisman Trophy winner will remain vacant for that year. Two Wyoming players have been released out of the hospital after a fatal car crash. 19-year-old linebacker Ruben Narquise of Miami died in the car crash. One other teammate will continue to be hospitalized while two others will, were released today. And Illinois suspends Michael Buchanan indefinitely. The defensive lineman was arrested on suspicion of drunk driving. He will face the preliminary charge of driving under the influence and consumption of alcohol by a minor. And now in the NFL, um, the NFL has once again changed the umpire rule. All 32 teams were notified with a memo that instead of the umpires being approximately 15 yards away from the scrimmage line when the ball is snapped, they will be 12 yards away. This rule was tweaked again after quarterback Peyton Manning complained. Also, the head linesman or line judge can signal when the ball can be snapped instead of having quarterbacks checking with the referees. And the umpire must only be beyond the deepest running back, not established in position before the ball can be snapped. The changes should make it easier for teams to use the no-huddle offense throughout the game. Um, the Titans and Redskins have been talking about a uh, talk, allegedly talk about an Hainsworth trade. The Redskins signed Hainsworth to a hundred a hundred million dollar deal last year, and he accepted a twenty-one million dollar bonus in April. The Titans have refused to comment, whereas the Redskins did not immediately respond to requests for comments. So we just have to wait and see about more news for that. But anyway, speaking of holding out, Darrell Revis returns back after a 36-day holdout. He finally signed the four-year deal um, worth approximately, I believe, $11 million a year. And then Donovan McNabb will start on Sunday. Despite his ankle injury, the, quarter the quarterback claims he's well enough to play. He says that his ankle is not 100%, but it is getting better, so that will not keep him from starting on Sunday. He sprained his ankle two and a half weeks ago against Baltimore. And Broncos White undergoes surgery. Lindale Wyatt had surgery to repair his ruptured Achilles tendon. It will sideline him for the rest of the season. Before rupturing his Achilles tendon, he rushed for 53 yards and, ha and had two touchdowns in the preseason. Now, that's it for, I guess you would call it football talk with Logan Patton for today. But that's it for today's episode. Um, again, you can go ahead, you, again, you can go on ahead and um, comment either on the YouTube page or on the video and subscribe. Or you could just send your comments here and uh, send any wait, send any comments and uh, questions or any suggestions, anything you want me to talk about 
to the address right here, loganpato at textnow.me. Like I said, comments, recommendations, um, anything you want me to talk about. But anyway, that should wrap it up for this episode. So until then, Logan Patton signing.